So today is uh, close to my last day here in Phuket, but I will be leaving the hostel that I've been staying at. I'm gonna go to another spot, just gonna get some coffee first, and then gonna get a grab to the next spot, which is uh, very close, very nearby. Uh, after this spot, this next one, um, I'm gonna go to the north of Phuket because that's where the airport is. I got a, I got a place, I got a place near the airport, so I don't have to worry about. Oh man, I got a bite, or I don't know what it was. Like, I think. I think I got a mosquito bite, and then while I was sleeping, I was like picking at it, and it looks like I got, it looks crazy. It looks like I got burnt by a cigarette or something, but it's not big enough to be a cigarette, so it, it, it's just weird. And guys, if you're here in Phuket and Rawai specifically, come to this spot. They're always like really cool. They're always really nice. Gonna have my last coffee here. They always got music. And they got spots. They got wall outlets where I can uh, charge my phone. I feel so tall on this. I'll see. All right, so I'm in the new spot, but um, I forgot my backpack at the other spot. So um, the driver that I had suggested that I take her car, but it was gonna cost so much money. So I was like, no, thank you, thank you so much. So I'm gonna take a motorcycle over there and I think I'm gonna take the motorcycle back, but I have to have the backpack in front just in case, I don't know, I don't know if I'm able to, but I, there's some sensitive stuff, not sensitive, but fragile stuff in there. It's my electronics, my technology is in my backpack. So I have to take very good careful. I have to be very careful with that. So <sighs> unfortunately it's just another setback, but it's a nice spot, you know, it's simple. Uh, it's private, uh, pretty private. I mean, there's that, door which i think leads to another the other side another room um but there's nice ac there's a fan there's a fridge and i actually like the spot the the person was very nice the guy was very nice uh who helped me check in and let me show you guys outside so this is the outside it's a bungalow And there's some other ones right here. And I think there's some more land, but this is the outside. It's very nice. It's very quiet. So let's go back over there. Gotta make our way downtown. This place is a lot different to the hostel where I was staying at because this is pretty secluded. It's uh, where I was staying was like right off the main street. So there was a lot of noise, which I kind of like, but it's nice to have uh, something different once in a while. So here, the nice and quiet, I'll be able to get, get some work done because I got some stuff to do and I am planning to go back to daily videos 
once I am in Malaysia because Malaysia man I have talked about this already but if you didn't know I got really depressed while I was there because I got sick um, it wasn't like I wasn't like super sick or anything but I was pretty sick and I just uh, didn't explore as much as I would have liked to so now I kind of have a feel of what Kuala Lumpur is like but I'm gonna make sure that I don't squander this opportunity so let's make our way over I'm gonna get on the other side. You know what's funny? These things that I've like seen on like these social media accounts that I've like seen of Muay Thai gyms and coffee shops and stuff like this, uh, I just randomly pass by them and I'm like, hey, I know that because there's a Muay Thai gym down here that I was looking at for such a long time, but unfortunately I don't have time for another uh, Muay Thai lesson before I leave, unfortunately, but still cool to see. So let's, uh, Let's get a grab. Let's get a grab back. And this is how I'm gonna go on a motorcycle. It's really sunny today. It's really hot. I checked the weather yesterday actually, and I don't know, this is this is hotter than I expected. Cause it said like 90. I don't know, this seems like 95 to me. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's actually cool that I get to go back and come back here because that means more footage, more footage for you guys. Okay, well I crossed for nothing. I have to cross back. Because of the way that the, the motorcycle's coming. It is pretty cool though. I haven't eaten today. I just had a coffee, which you guys saw. Um, I was thinking of actually doing a fast, fasting, um, which I don't know if that's the best idea because I have fasted before, which I love, fasting is great for me, but you know what? I don't know what happens. I start freaking out. My body goes into like anxiety mode, anxiety turbo mode. And I start freaking out my, I don't know if it's my blood pressure or what, but I had a panic attack because of it and I had to eat. <laughs> this happened like a year or two ago.
right, so at this place, I came out to get some water, a bar of soap, and some orange juice. Oh, and coffee. Coffee, of course. There's like a festival going on? There's like a jumping house, there's like a bouncy house or something. I don't know what's over there. Uh, I'm not gonna have time to go because it's already like five or six. So I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight nor tomorrow because I have to wake up early tomorrow to go to the next spot. And then after that, I have to stay up early to go to the next spot, <laughs> which is uh, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. And me, I don't wake up. I could have an alarm. I could have the loudest alarm ever. I don't wake up. I wake up just enough. My body wakes up and turns off the alarm before I even realize it. So I've always had that. I've always had that, that trouble of waking up so uh, when I'm out here, I just kind of wake up when I wake up. I go to bed when I go to bed and I wake up when I wake up. Um, I tend to, I tend to get like six to eight hours. And look at the sunset. It says Thai boxing competition every Friday night starts at nine. And I'm pretty sure today's Friday? Or is it Saturday? I don't know. Because this time change, back to California time, it's always a, a struggle. It's always a struggle to know what day it is because there's nothing that I actually do like I don't really plan things I just go with the flow The number one thing that I'm excited, the number one thing that I'm excited about uh, Kuala Lumpur is going back to the Batu Caves and actually going to the cave. Because that video that I uploaded, it wasn't the cave. It was a cave right next to the main one. It was just a side one. The main one you don't have to pay for. But it was cool seeing the monkeys. I got distracted by the monkeys and didn't realize that it wasn't the one that I had seen because I had seen pictures of a stairway and it didn't register in my brain that I there wasn't a stair that stairway wasn't where I went. These trees, man. That's so cool. They're growing. They're getting strong. I wonder the, what these are. Papaya? That one looks like a papaya. I don't know anything about plants though, so. I'm probably wrong. Oh, more cats. These cats look like they're like lions. They're like tigers, man. They're like small but very bulky for how for how tiny they are. 
Hello. I want to see what's over here. These are all bungalows. So pretty. This looks amazing. <laughs> 